Hi, welcome to LP Human Anatomica. In this series of sessions, I will be discussing about connective tissue. By the end of the session, you should be able to describe the features of connective tissue, mention the components of connective tissue, enlist the cells of connective tissue and their functions, discuss the ground substance and fibers of connective tissue, mention the types and features of connective tissue, and list the functions of connective tissue. Connective tissue is widely distributed throughout the body. It is derived from embryonic mesoderm. It is a general type of tissue which supports, binds and protects the special well-differentiated tissues of the body and maintain the form of organs throughout the body. It provides a matrix that supports and physically connects other tissues and cells together in organs. The interstitial fluid of connective tissue gives metabolic support to cells as the medium for diffusion of nutrients and waste products. The connective tissue is classified broadly into general and special. The ordinary or general type of connective tissue is distributed all over the body. The special type of connective tissue forms Certain well-differentiated tissues like the bone and cartilage, the greater part of connective tissue develops from embryonic mesoderm. A number of cell types is also found in the blood and lymph. Coming to the functions of connective tissue, it acts as a packaging material. Connective tissue provides a supporting matrix for many highly organized structures. It forms restraining mechanism of the body in the form of retinacular check ligaments and fibrous pulley. The ensheathing layer of deep fascia preserves the characteristic contour of the limbs and aids circulation in the veins and lymphatics. It provides surface coating of the body in the form of superficial fascia which stores fat and conserves body heat. It provides additional surface for the attachment of muscles in the form of deep fascia, intermuscular septum and interosseous membranes. It forms facial planes which provide convenient pathways for vessels and nerves. In places where it is loose in texture, it facilitates movements between the adjacent structures and by forming bursal sacs. It minimizes friction and pressure effects. Connective tissue helps in the repair of injuries whereby the fibroblasts lay down the collagen fibers to form the scar tissue. The macrophages of connective tissue serves a defensive function against the bacterial invasion by their phagocytic activity. They also act as scavengers in removing the cell debris and foreign material. The plasma cells are capable of producing antibodies against specific antigens. The mast cells by producing histamine and serotonin are responsible for the various inflammatory, allergic and hypersensitivity reactions. Pigment cells protect the skin against ultraviolet radiation so that the inflammatory changes typical of sunburn do not occur and the chromosomal damage in the dividing cells of epidermis is avoided. It provides medium for exchange of nutrients and metabolic wastes between cells and blood supply. Connective tissue contains mesenchymal cells of the embryonic type which acts as stem cells. These are capable of differentiating into various types of connective tissue cells with their discrete functions. Connective tissue has two components, cells and intercellular or extracellular substance or matrix. The cellular component of connective tissue plays the role of active defense. The extracellular component is the major constituent of connective tissue and serves a number of mechanical functions of support and protection against the mechanical stresses and strains. Extracellular matrix mainly consists of fibers and ground substance or amorphous substance. The fibers are present in 
different combination of proteins as collagen, elastic and reticular fibers. The ground substance or amorphous material is a complex of anionic hydrophilic proteoglycons, glycosaminoglycons which are usually called as GAGs, multi-adhesive glycoproteins like lemonin and fibronectin. The cells of the connective tissue are widely separated from each other by the abundance of extracellular matrix. Connective tissue cells are classified into fixed and wandering cells. Fixed cells originate and reside in connective tissue. Fibroblasts and fat cells are fixed cells. The wandering cells originate from the bone marrow and migrate into the connective tissue. Wandering cells are plasma cells, macrophage, mast cells, reticular cell, pigment cell, white blood cells which include neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, lymphocytes and monocytes. We will now see the details of each cell of the connective tissue. Fibroblasts are the most abundant cells in the connective tissue derived from undifferentiated mesenchymal cells. Young and active fibroblast as an abundant cytoplasm with branched processes having ovoid euchromatic nucleus in the center. The cytoplasm has more rough endoplasmic reticulum and a well-developed Golgi apparatus. Old quiescent or inactive cell is called fibrocyte and is smaller than the active fibroblast. It is usually spindle shaped with fewer processes and much less rough endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus and contains a darker, more heterochromatic nucleus. Function of fibroblasts is to synthesize and secrete collagen reticulin and elastin which form large fibers. It also secretes the glycosaminoglycons, proteoglycons and multi-glycoproteins. Not only production but it also maintains the extracellular matrix. It acts as stem cells differentiating into other connective tissue cells. Coming to the clinical anatomy of fibroblasts, Vitamin C deficiency leads to impaired collagen formation. In healing of wounds, the fibroblasts resume mitotic activity and subsequently convert into fibrocytes. In the process of repair, sometimes fibroblasts form granulation tissue when embedded in vascular stroma. The second type of connective tissue cells Adipocytes, also called as fat cells, are derived from mesenchymal cells, specialized for cytoplasmic storage of lipid, helping in production of heat. It is spherical or polygonal, consists of peripheral rim of cytoplasm with an eccentric nucleus and contains large central lobule of fat. When stained with HND, during the process of preparing the slide, the fat lobule is dissolved and the central part is unstained and cells look signet ring appearance. They can be present in isolation or in groups as adipose tissue. The functions of adipocytes are it provides a, or acts as a storehouse of fat. It acts as cushion in many sites such as ischiorectal fat. It helps to conserve the body fat. It provides packaging material around some viscera to keep them in position such as perinephric fat. It is responsible to provide contour of the human body. It acts as thermal insulator. It is distributed in the following areas. In Subcutaneous tissue as paniculus adiposis which shows characteristic sex differences. Around the kidney, in the mesenteries, omenta and as localized fat in synovial membrane 
and in the bone marrow. The selective distribution of fatty tissue indicates that the fat is deposited by special cells. Okay, coming to the two types of adipose tissue. Okay, the first one is the unilocular adipose tissue. Unilocular adipose tissue in adults is of uh, unilocular type. That is, the fat is stored as white or yellow single large droplet which is seen as unstained part in the section. Each cell is round in shape, has single fat droplet with thin rim of cytoplasm. During histological preparation, the fat droplet is washed off, does not take up the stain since there is no tissue. Large empty space is seen. Nucleus is flattened and eccentric in position, hence the cell appears as a signet ring. It is present almost throughout the body as a subcutaneous fat underneath the skin and acts as a thermal insulator. Its distribution is regulated by sex hormones. Multilocular adipose tissue is present in embryos and newborns and is greatly reduced in adults. Adipose cells of multilocular adipose tissue are smaller in size than the cells of unilocular adipose tissue. These cells have a single centrally located spherical nucleus, multiple small fat vacuoles and contain large number of mitochondria. Since it has multiple fat vacuoles, it is called multilocular adipose tissue. It is highly vascular and this gives the characteristic color and hence it is called brown fat. In embryo and newborn, it is located in the back, neck and shoulder. In adults, it is reduced and present around kidney, adrenal, aorta and mediastinum. Coming to the next type of cells, that is plasma cells. Plasma cells are large, ovoid or round in shape and presents granular cytoplasm which is stained with basic dyes. Basophilia is due to intense ribosome granules which are attached to endoplasmic reticulum arranged concentrically around the nucleus. Nucleus is spherical and eccentric in position. They have cartwheel appearance due to the clumps of chromatin arranged in a radiating manner. Cells are not present at birth but appear in postnatal life. Therefore, the antibody formation of newborn is minimum. The lifespan is 10 to 20 days. Cells are located numerously in mucosa and submucosa coats of gastrointestinal tract and it is also present in greater momentum. The cells are derived from bursa equivalent or simply called B lymphocytes, particularly when they are exposed to antigens. The functions of plasma cells are they liberate immunoglobulin antibodies or humoral antibodies to encounter or to counteract the action of antigens and help in the defense mechanism of the body. The next type of cells is macrophages. Macrophages are less numerous cells. Typical macrophage measures 10 to 30 micrometer in diameter, appears round with irregular cell outline, eccentrically placed oval kidney shaped nucleus and cytoplasm with numerous lysozymes containing hydrolytic enzymes. They comprise family of cells called mononuclear phagocyte system given different names in different systems. They are called histiocytes or clasmatocytes in connective tissue, kupfer cells in the liver, reticular cells in lymphatic tissue, alveolar phagocytes in lung alveoli, microglial cells in central nervous system, Langerhans cells in skin, osteoclasts in bone tissue and they are also seen in sinusoids of spleen and bone marrow. 
These are derived from precursor cells present in the blood. The monocytes which originate in the bone marrow and enter into the bloodstream. They are also derived from undifferentiated mesenchyme or fibroblasts. All are having long life surviving for months. The functions of macrophages are the phagocytose protein fibers remove dead cells, tissue debris or other particulate matter. Phagocytose and digest particulate organic materials like protein fibers, foreign bodies or invading microorganisms and thereby eliminate or remove them along with dead cells from the body to avoid any injurious effects. Some of them form a barricade around a large foreign material and coalesce with one another to form multinucleated masses known as foreign body giant cells. It also secretes growth factors and cytokines. They take part in immune response by presenting the phagocytosed antigen to lymphocytes, helping in defensive mechanism of the body. How is it done? Cells ingest or uptake non-specific antigens which are processed or modified by either by uh, destroying or transferring to the immunologically competent cells of T or B lymphocytes. Mast cells are oval or irregularly shaped connective tissue cells, 7 to 20 micron meter in diameter. Cytoplasm is basophilic, filled with membrane bound secretory granules. Granules are produced by sulfated mucopolysaccharides. Nucleus is centrally placed but is often obscured by secretory granules. They are located in the fibrous capsule of liver, small blood vessels in skin and mesenteries which uh, are called as perivascular mast cells. Then uh, it is present in synovial membrane and tissues lining the gastrointestinal tract and respiratory tracts. These are called as mucosal mast cells. The functions of mast cells are it secretes bioactive substances with roles in the local inflammatory response, innate immunity and tissue repair. They liberate heparin which is anticoagulant and dissipates chylomicrons of blood plasma by activating lipoprotein lipase. Heparin prevents fibrinogen which is continuously escaping from blood capillaries into tissue spaces from clotting into fibrin. Formation of hyaluronic acid in matrix increases the viscosity of the synovial fluid. It produces histamine and small amount of serotonin which promotes increased vascular permeability and smooth muscle contraction. Serine proteases activate various mediators of inflammation. Eosinophil and neutrophil chemotactic factors attract leukocytes. Cytokines helps in polypeptide directing activities of leukocytes and other cells. Phospholipid precursors helps in conversion of prostaglandins and other lipid mediators of inflammatory response. Pigment cells, coming to the next cells, okay, which are known as melanocytes. Each cell presents long cytoplasmic processes, nucleus and contains melanin granules in cytoplasm. Once melanin is produced, it is contained in the special organelles called as melanosomes which can be transported to keratinocytes to induce pigmentation. Thus, darker skin tones have more melanosomes present than lighter skin tones. Melanocytes or pigment cells are derived from neural crest cells. These cells are located in the basal layer of epidermis of skin 
in iris and choroid coat of eyeball, inner ear, vaginal epithelium, meninges, bones and heart. The functions of melanocytes are they protect skin against the cosmic or UV rays of the sun. They also help in immune system or the immune response. Reticular cell is another type of connective tissue cell which is flat cell with branches and poorly staining or pale staining nucleus and pale staining cytoplasm. The reticular cells form a network that ensheath a mesh of collagen type 3 fibers and crisscrosses the tissue in each lymph node which has mesh like pattern called reticulum. This reticular cell network distributes key molecules and provides a structure for immune cells to move around on. During infections, the network can suffer the damage. They are located in the kidney, the spleen, lymph nodes and bone marrow. The functions of reticular cells are to form a stroma and provide structural support such as that in the lymphoid organs by producing reticular fibers to which cells are attached. Phagocytic action is by ingestion and by removal of bacteria. It acts as stem cells for the cellular constituents of blood. Coming to the next uh, type of cell is the uh, leukocytes or white blood cells which are wandering cells. Lifespan of these cells is few hours or days. These cells originate from bone marrow and migrate via the blood and lymph capillaries to the connective tissue. They are classified into two groups, granulocytes and agranulocytes. Granulocytes are characterized by single segmented nuclei and cytoplasmic granules with specific contents. Neutrophils, eosinophils and basophils are the three different types of granulocytes. Agranulocytes are characterized by single unsegmented nuclei. These cells lack specific cytoplasmic granules. Lymphocytes and monocytes are the two different types of agranulocytes. On the whole, the functions of leukocytes is to modulate allergic vasoactive reactions and defense against parasites and phagocytosis of bacteria. Now going through each uh, of the white blood cell, neutrophils are the most abundant accounting to 50 to 70 percent of the leukocytes present in blood. Neutro Phil is a large blood cell with multi-lobed nucleus having 3 to 5 lobes. The functions of neutrophils are they provide first line of defense against infective uh, organisms. They are active powerful phagocytes. They phagocytose the microorganisms and destroy them by their enzymes. They increase in number during acute inflammation and dead cells are called pus cells. Eosinophils, the second type of white blood cells, are less in number and constitute 1 to 2 uh, 5 percent of the leukocytes present in blood. Eosinophil is a large uh, blood cell characterized by the presence of bilobed nucleus and large eosinophilic granules in cytoplasm. The functions of eosinophils are they phagocytosis antigen antibody complex and they increase in number during allergic conditions and parasitic infections. Coming to the third type of white blood cells, basophils are immune cells. These are least common cells accounting to 0 to 1 percent of the total leukocytes in blood. In the basophils, 
the nucleus is segmented but not seen clearly due to the presence of dark stained cytoplasmic granules. Their granules contain heparin and histamine. The functions of basophils are to release heparin and histamine during allergic reactions and asthma. They are also phagocytic in nature. Lymphocytes are the smallest leukocytes in uh, size. They constitute up to 20 to 40% of the total leukocytes in blood. Lymphocytes is a spherical cell with large round nucleus which is often eccentrically placed and a thin rim of cytoplasm. The size of the lymphocytes and the thickness of the cytoplasmic rim varies. In small lymphocytes, a thin rim of cytoplasm is present around the nucleus, whereas in large lymphocytes, the rim of cytoplasm is wider than in small lymphocytes. Lymphocytes are located throughout the body. They are most numerous in gastrointestinal, respiratory and genitourinary tracts. There are three types of lymphocytes. T lymphocytes, B lymphocytes and natural killer cells. The functions of the lymphocytes are they are responsible for immunological defense. T lymphocytes are responsible for cell mediated immunity. B lymphocytes are responsible for humoral immunity. Natural killer cells bring about antibody dependent cellular cytotoxicity. Lymphocytes increase in number during chronic inflammatory conditions. Coming to the last type of uh, white blood cells are the leukocytes. Monocytes. Monocytes are the largest leukocytes in size. They constitute 1 to 10 percent of the total leukocytes in blood. Monocyte is a large phagocytic white blood cell with clear grayish cytoplasm. They have eccentrically placed horseshoe shaped nucleus. In the connective tissue, they differentiate into macrophages. The function of monocyte is phagocytosis. With this, we have completed the first part of the components of connective tissue, the cells. Okay, so we have completed the types of cells of the connective tissue. To recap, it was discussed about uh, introduction, functions, composition and eight types of connective tissue cells in this session. In the next session, I will be discussing on the extracellular matrix.